The family of Colombia's longest held hostage prepares for another Christmas without him. It's been 13 years since soldier Luis Alfonso Beltran was captured by FARC guerrilla rebels. Even though he doesn't look thin, he's aged. You can see on him the marks of the jungle, the sadness you can see in his eyes. The last time they heard from Beltran was two years ago, through a taped message from a jungle prison camp. Mom, Dad, family, please cherish the freedom you have. Don't worry about me. I'm okay. And to the media, thank you for your solidarity and for remembering us. But Beltran's mother says Colombians have forgotten about the war prisoners, the foot soldiers in the front lines of a four-decade-old armed conflict. There are two kinds of captives, those who have money and are politicians and mean something to the government. And there are our hostages, the military hostages, who are poor and have to die. They're not worth anything in the eyes of some, but they are heroes of the nation. Two weeks ago, the guerrilla group executed four war prisoners. After the military staged an unsuccessful operation to free them, Beltran's family has asked the Santos administration to refrain from these operations because they put the captives' lives at risk. They hope a prisoner swap can be negotiated, that their son and the remaining nine military hostages can be released. Brian Wheeler, Al Jazeera.